Man, so I'll tell you what, I took a week off. I feel like it was deserved. I haven't took some time off in a while, and it wasn't really my choice. We got stuck in Chicago because of Hurricane Dorian. Canceled my flight back, but it's all good. Enough of that. If you're excited for this new project, if you're excited for me to be back, if you're excited for everything that is to come, please like this video. Go ahead and drop a like now. We are going to get started, and the new project is, I don't know if you could tell by the thumbnail, and I don't know if you could tell by the title, and now, you're watching, it's mid-September, so it's time for Christmas, according to Retail Store's channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. Like I said, it has been a little while, but I want to get these videos going. I want to get everything out there, and I want to get right back on track. And you leaving a like on this video is going to help me out in that aspect. So what the game plan is, what we got to do right now... Project Pepto, I'm waiting on some parts. So I think we gotta get Project Pepto pulled out of here and then I'm gonna get the black, the black EG hatch that has been sitting over here in the yard for more than a year. It's just been sitting over here untouched. That's what we're gonna start working on. And for this project, I want your guys' help all along the way. I'll get into that a little bit more later, but every single one of my videos, I'm gonna present a question or two different options. And then in the following video, I'm going to do the option that was picked in favor or the option that was picked more. So I want you guys to help me build this build. I want you to be involved. I want this build to be a build that we can all look back on and say, we built this car together. It wasn't just you watching me do whatever I want or whatever the owner wanted. It's us working together on this thing. So what I gotta do right now, I wanna kinda get everything pulled off that I'm probably not going to be using. So I guess, we just got to get everything assessed. I'm going to get the car pulled from over here, get it pulled into the shop. No motor, it's just sitting there a shell. I'm not going to be able to push it by myself, so I got to figure out how to make it go over there. But that's just the fun of working by myself. I got to figure it out. All right, so the car's in here now, and like I said earlier, it's kind of cool, a little bit of a challenge and kind of fun for me to figure out exactly how I'm gonna move things when I'm over here by myself, but that's just the fun of it. So, a little bit of background on this car. I'm not gonna give too much of a backstory because in reality, that's kind of boring, but this is a EG hatch. It's an original SI, and it belongs to a friend of mine that's overseas. He's doing his thing. He's in the army, and as he's gone doing his thing, serving his time for our country, I just have the car over here, and it's been sitting for quite a while. Now, he messaged me, and he decided it's time to time to build the car. The car's not going to sit any longer. We're going to build it. I just got to see exactly what we need to do, and the only thing that I want to do right now and in this video, I want to focus on tearing it down there's some things that we're definitely not going to be using for example this rusty fender i'm not going to use that fender maybe we'll just get another one from a junkyard or i don't know exactly what we're going to do but that's what i want to do i want to get it torn down these doors haven't been opened in a long time a whole bunch of spare parts in here i kind of want to take an inventory on what we have see what we're going to need and we just got to get right into it So that was relatively quick. I got everything pulled out of there. Nothing was bolted in at all. It's looking really good. And then just after looking at it, you can see that the car, it was K-Series at one point, but it's not going to be K-Series any longer or in the near future. But we'll have to see what happens. We'll see, we'll address that when we get there. So everything is looking good. The only thing that I noticed is, man, when I was pulling all this stuff out, dude, there are spider webs everywhere. Hopefully, 
hopefully that's just going to stay within this stuff and i'm not going to be using a bunch of this stuff for example seats we're going to have to figure out what exactly we want to do for seats but stock seats are definitely not going to cut it also back seats i don't know if it's going to be gutted or if it's going to be full interior or gutted and painted we're going to have to see what we want to do we're going to have to see what you want us to do and then we'll go from there so the next thing that i want to do now that i got the interior kind of stripped kind of pulled out I want to go ahead and start going over this suspension i know the suspension is probably all dry rotted all the bushings all the everything so i'm just going to go ahead and get it pulled off and then we'll see if we're going to replace the bushings use this maybe ditch it for something else and we'll just have to see we're just barely getting into it at this point All right, so taking the first look at this suspension, what I can see, more spiders in there. Pretty nasty. And then this stuff all looks real rusty, really bad, pretty gross. Now I can imagine the bushings, as you can see, they're almost non-existent. On the back, it's probably gonna be the same way for the rear trailing arms. I'm not even going to look at them. Just by judging how these look, how long this car has been sitting, I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff pulled off of there and then either replace the bushings or replace all this stuff. That'll, that'll be the question. I'll ask you at the end of this video what you think. taking a quick look at it one thing led to another and I actually just pulled it off I mean the stuff looks kind of nice in a way extended studs slotted and drilled rotors but everything is just everything is just so far gone so rather than going through and revamping this I think that we're going to replace it the question is going to be the question for this video what I want you to leave in the comment section below is whether you think I should replace it with just another set of four lug stuff and then we can have a little more money in the budget for an aftermarket wheel now I'm not talking about a really expensive aftermarket wheel I'm talking about like a you know just like a well, I don't know something 4x100 something not extremely expensive I'm not talking about TE 37s we don't have TE 37 type money we just got regular money so that's the question go with the four lug stuff replace it with four lug stuff and then just get some aftermarket four lug wheels or since this is going to be a performance build maybe we're going to go on to go with the full ITR 5x114 setup since I'm pulling this off anyways and then we'll go with the OEM Integra Type R wheels I don't know I think that looks really good I'm happy to do either one I'll let you guys decide what we want to go with and I'll give you a little summary at the end to see what we should do and to see exactly what you should say for what we should do but the next thing that I got to do right now is I got to go ahead and get the backs pulled off right here and then if you can see I already got all this stuff off because these need to come with there's just two 12s right there a 12 right there and a 12 right there they're all just sitting right there one two three four 12 millimeter bolts to get that loose now i gotta go ahead and put my attention back here and get all those rear trailing arms off also just wanted to point out that these are si eg si rear discs because this is an actual si eg hatch so we are definitely looking really good the only other one that I still have yet to pull off is this side but over here this is all off as you can see that looks good 
the fronts off. One thing that I forgot about, even though I mentioned it, was the e-brake cable that actually has two different 12 millimeter bolts holding the e-brake to the actual chassis. So I forgot about that, but I put my jack underneath the whole entire rear swing arm. So nothing happened. It's just that that was holding me up. So I got that, everything is looking good. And now, now that everything's out, I'm just thinking about it. I think we're just gonna go ITR five lug regardless. I still want you to leave in the comment section below what you would have done, whether you would have went with the four lug and the aftermarket wheels. And then I'm gonna have to see about getting five lug wheels if we get the ITR stuff. Maybe we'll just get some ITR wheels to go along with it anyways. But this is just getting into it. This is just the first part of the teardown phase. And this is really exciting. This car is going to be everything. The entire car is gonna be done. We're gonna be doing paint job, we're gonna be doing everything, and anything that you could think of to be done on an EG hatch, it will be done. We'll get into it a little bit more later on down the road, and like I said, I want you to help out in making decisions. I want you personally involved, so be in the comment section below, putting in your input all along the way. And also, the more thumbs up you leave, the more comments you leave, the better that helps me out, the more content I can come out with, and it's just all, it just all works hand in hand together, perfectly, uniformity, all that stuff. Whew, man, so I am definitely glad to be back. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe, do all this stuff. Stuff. you know what it is YouTube I'll see you on the next one um, 